Hey everyone, it's Coach Matt from Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. You know guys, later on this week I'm going to be releasing an ebook entitled The Ultimate Off-Season Training Program for Throwers. And in this ebook, basically what it does is it entails 13 weeks of training, three days a week for 13 weeks of everything that you need to do in the weight room to get stronger and more explosive for track season. Um, all ex especially based around throwing. And one of the great things about this is when I wrote the book, I used the basic equipment. Um, all you need really is a squat rack, some type of a squat rack, bar holder, Olympic bar, dumbbells, uh, weight plates, and body weight and a pull-up bar. Other than that, there's nothing else that you need in this book or in these workouts um, that you need to purchase or that you need to go to a big, huge, expensive gym to use. The basics work the best, and that's what I like. One of the exercises that I know is going to get a lot of questions that people aren't going to know how to do it or maybe haven't heard of it before is called a goblet squat. Now, a goblet squat can be done with either a kettlebell, if you have kettlebells, or a dumbbell. Goblet squat is a front-loaded squat where you're holding either one dumbbell or one kettlebell in front of your body. Puts the weight in the front of your body. I like it because it allows athletes to sit further back, to hinge their hips further back, and to squat down using proper technique. You also, it's very tough to overload a front squat because you're not going to grab a you know, 200 pound dumbbell. You're not going to have those. You're not going to see those everywhere. Or a 150 pound dumbbell. Heck, you don't even see a 100 pound dumbbell in a lot of gyms. The heaviest we go here at Primal is 80. Because really, we're working with and keeping things explosive. We're not going to get up to a 100 pound dumbbell, 120 pound dumbbell. So what I'm going to do is show you guys how it's done. Um, goblet squat or a goblet front squat. So what I did, I grabbed I've got a 55 pound dumbbell here, which is something I grabbed off the rack. And what we're going to do is we're going to get our legs opened up just like a normal squat. And we'll back up a little bit here. Just like a normal squat, we're going to put the hands underneath the dumbbell. So you're going to hold it right here underneath the dumbbell. We're going to hinge our hips backwards. So we're going to stick out our butt and then bend the knees going down below parallel. It looks like this. Now, as you can tell, that allows me, by having the weight in front, that allows me to hinge my hips back to counter the weight of my body moving back and my hips moving back to get myself in a good position to squat. The other thing you notice is that my knees are not collapsing. They're not coming in. The knees are pushed out right in line with my toes as I sit and as I stand. If you have an issue with the knees coming in, that means you're very quad dominant. We need to have you really forcefully push those knees out, open those knees as you stand up and as you sit back. Now, if you're going to be using a kettlebell with this, let's just grab one off the rack here. This is a uh, 16 kilo, about a 35 pound kettlebell. There's a lot of ways that you can goblet squat. You can hold the kettlebell by the horns and keep it underneath the chin as you squat down. You can hold the kettlebell underneath, like so, with the handle not being held onto. This is great for people who are just starting out. Or you can hold it upside down, okay, where people can put it right on top of their chest, sit back, and goblet squat. So there's a few different variations of how you can do a goblet squat according to the equipment that you have available to you in your weight room, at your house, or at the big box gym that you go to. Guys, it's Coach Matt. Make sure you sign up for our newsletter. Sign up right on the Primal ATC website. Guys that get the newsletter will be the first to find out and the first to know when the ebook is actually released. Like I said, it's going to be later on this week at some point. Just go right to our products tab, click on ebooks, and you'll see it right there. Make sure you check us out. Make sure you sign up for that newsletter. We'll get you guys going here as soon as possible and let you know when that ebook is going to be available to you.